Why do I use Linux? It's uh, Linux is a great system, something that I use quite often, and I love it as an operating system. I love being in it, but why? And I'm going to just give you a hint here. It's not for all the reasons you hear other people online that are, are fresh. And a lot of people freshly come into Linux. They're always like, oh, it's more secure. Eh, not really. A lot of times the base configuration of Arch is probably as insecure as you can get. Uh, and a lot of other people are like, oh, it's super reliable. It's Linux. They use it on servers. I'm like, yeah, if you use a base CLI and you never install any kind of desktop environment or window manager and you just use the server side of things, it's very reliable. But once you start adding all this stuff, it becomes extremely unreliable. Windows and Mac are more reliable, I would say. Now, I know I'm thoroughly pissing off most Linux users out there, but these are the lies everyone tells themselves and uh, are just not true uh, for, for most. Now, I say for most because Linux can be more reliable. It can be more stable, but uh, it just depends on your configuration of it and how much you understand. Most people coming to Linux don't know a whole lot, so they end up copy pasting some stuff, and then poof, there goes their system. That blows it up in spectacular fashion. They try to make Windows applications and games and other things work that aren't necessarily uh, Linux compatible, and then it breaks. And that's typically your average Linux experience. So if it's not for uh, security, it's not for reliability, uh, what do I use Linux for? Because, well, I've used Windows a ton. Uh, professionally, I have a ton of certificates starting all the way back in 2003 with Small Business Server and Windows XP, carrying all the way through Enterprise Administrator in the late 2000s, all the way to today. And I know Windows front and back. I can get almost anything I need done in Windows. So why? Why Linux? If I know all this and I can do whatever I want to do in Windows. And even more than I can do in Linux. It's really quite simple. Microsoft is one of the reasons why I use Linux. It's straight up. Having Copilot baked in... Well, I mean, kind of a fun little game I have with Microsoft is ripping all this garbage out that they put in. You know, you'll be sitting here, you, you got like LinkedIn app and all this other garbage. So I'm like, okay, let me strip all this out. And then all of a sudden notification center will pop up saying, hey, I suggest you use a, an optimal browser and use Microsoft Edge. Uh <laughs> I mean, it's such a joke of an operating system now that it's turned into this giant advertising, like Ready Player One style operating system. So they force a lot of people to use something else. Now, a lot of refugees from Windows moved to Mac, but for me, Linux kind of is a better fit. And I'll get into why, but I would say reason number one of why I use Linux is simply Microsoft sucks and they keep messing up Windows. And while I enjoy the game, sometimes I just need to get some work done and need my operating system not to get in my way. And a lot of times Microsoft Windows does get in my way. And if I do see something that I'm like, oh, that's really bad, I need to fix that. That's time that I have to go to go fix. And if I already have my workflow set up on Linux, well, the thing is, it never really changes. And I know, hey, I'm going to be able to come in here. Let's say I need to uh, do the article for this video. I can just pop in, do my stuff, and then save it, publish that to the web. It'll come out as a nice HTML article that you'll read on ChrisTitus.com. And away I go. And this feels really good, too, by the way. Like, when I'm flipping around, probably my second reason for using Linux is the window managers are nothing like Windows or Mac have. It just, it feels smooth. It feels crisp. It feels just right. And it it's just amazing in seeing this type of level of productivity. If you could do all your stuff in Windows and you use like a, a window manager or that type of thing, it, it feels really good for me. So that's probably my number two is the actual look and feel of Linux. Well, it mileage will vary depending on the user. But for me, why I use Linux is this feels great. And if I'm not using Hyperland, I'm using like DWM. I've used BSPWM. There's i3. A lot of programmers use a lot of different things. So it just, 
you can go all the way around and you don't have to be a programmer. A lot of people just love this stuff. And I'm one of those people. So that's my, that's my number two. So what's number three of why I use Linux? I would say number three is I really enjoy it. And I know that sounds like number two, but let me, let me explain. You know that era of discovery, like back in the 90s when I first jumped on, well, actually it was late 80s, early 90s. I first jumped on like my first PC. There was that era of discovery, like, man, anything is possible. We could change and do all kinds of crazy stuff and just have an amazing time. And then, you know, after about 10, 15 years, you kind of get, the mystery is pretty much devolved. You know, you, you look at a lot of, the stuff from Windows and Mac. And a lot of times it just doesn't, uh, you can get your work done, you can do your apps, but it just doesn't feel like there's any era of discovery. And I miss that. And Linux gives me that. I can I can explore, I can change, I can customize anything. And I do mean anything, which is amazing. So I love that uh, from it. So uh, it's kind of funny, like the Windows shortcuttings we went over and then like Mac OS is another one a lot of people go to. And honestly, I would find Mac OS to be probably the most reliable out of all the operating systems. It's just really boring. And I really don't like the look and feel of Mac OS. Yes, I've done Magnet. Yes, I've done window managers in Mac. But at the end of the day, you're still using Finder. You still have to work around their atrocious window management, like the full screen mode and the split screen mode. That's just awful. Yeah, you can hot key around that, but it's not something that I enjoy. And I know under underneath whatever Band-Aid fix I do in Mac OS, the underlying operating system is still controlled by Apple and they do not change it. And I can't change it to the, the degree that I want. And I think it just looks kind of Fisher pricey. So that's my thought on on Apple, and I've used it before for like Final Cut for for a variety of you know. I think it was like a year and a half. I was doing Final Cut edits, and uh, it booted up. I was able to do it. I don't have anything bad to say other than I just didn't like the look and feel, and I couldn't really change what I wanted to change in Mac OS. I could change a lot, and I could fix a lot of the problems that Apple has, but it wasn't wasn't to the point where I was like, mm, I could live here. Uh, maybe maybe I'll give it another shot here in a bit, but. That's when I get there. So that's that's it. And, and you know, when it comes to Linux, uh, I, I actually wrote here, most Linux versions will tell you it's secure, private, and stable, and all these other things. And it's really none of that. It, it really isn't. It's not the reason why I use Linux at all. And honestly, I, I think you should really anticipate it not being as reliable or stable as, as Windows or Mac, especially starting out, because you're just not going to know what you don't know, and you're going to end up breaking something, and then it's not going to work the way you want it to. Um, and some hardware is just not compatible with Linux. Those are things that most people won't tell you in the Linux community. They're just like, it always works. It's always stable. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's stable for you because you you have the right hardware. You are using the right software you have your good workflow and then Linux becomes very stable. But until you achieve all of those things, it's not, it just isn't. So that's, that's my honest opinion of Linux, why I use it. Uh, I still use a lot of windows. I still enjoy coming in here and seeing how Microsoft screwed something up and then fixing it in my windows toolbox. I love that. Don't get me wrong. That's what I actually enjoy in Windows. <laughs> Going, all right, how did Microsoft screw it up today? But when I'm ready to do work, I'm ready to write, ready to create, uh, a lot of times I just hate it. And I need to be in Linux because I need to have that era of discovery, that that feeling of just awesomeness. <laughs> and that's that really is what Linux gives me and no other operating system can. So that's my three reasons. You know, number one, Microsoft sucks and they keep breaking Windows. And sometimes I just don't want to deal with it. So I use Linux. Number two is, hey, Linux tiling window manager and just the look and feel once you get it down. Man, it's amazing workflow, super fast, super efficient. And then number three, creativity. You can always find something. You can always change anything. You can customize whatever you want in the era of discovery 
brings me back to how it was when I was a kid in the 90s, just really enjoying my computer computing experience. And that's why I use Linux. Those three reasons are, are the big things. And I'm never bored and I love it to death. But it's never all the stuff you, you, the, the Linux nerds online will, will tell you. It just... Those things don't hold true to me as a professional that has done computing work for, for decades. It just, it, it a lot of it is just not true or it is true, but only for a small subset that actually follow it. Like, yes, Linux can be the most secure, but you got to use cubes. You got to use tails. You got to use more secure distributions that have uh, security in mind and are pre-configured for that. A lot of times people don't know how to configure Linux to be secure. And those types of things, yeah, there's there's a lot that goes into it. So a lot of things you hear aren't necessarily false, but they're not exactly true, or, or at least not true for most people, especially new Linux users. And this is my reasons and why I use Linux, but I also use Mac. I also use Windows. Don't, don't take it as I switch 100% and I never see this screen. Because I still see this every single every single day, probably. You know, I'm dual booting. I'm I'm got multiple systems. Some systems, like the one I'm recording on right now, that's Windows, because it has a whole bunch of hardware that guess what, kind of sucks in Linux. They don't. It's just not compatible. Or I'm using software like Affinity Photo or Photoshop, and well, doesn't work great in Linux. So yeah, I still use Windows. I still use Mac, but. I absolutely love Linux, and that's why it is my main daily driver. I get the most done, and I feel amazing in it.